the X-57 Maxwell reached another milestone towards the first test flight with the successful installation of battery packs in the cabin of the aircraft. These commercial lithium-ion batteries are secured in custom lightweight cases that were extensively tested for safety. And so the process is pretty much based on pretty much working from the left side of the aircraft to the right side and putting the battery modules in you know, chronological order. The purpose of having the batteries fully integrated into the aircraft and spinning motors off of battery power is to let us know if we're ready for flight. Upon completion of the battery installation, the crew successfully tested X-57's motors spinning off onboard battery power. The motors had previously spun, but were drawing energy from the facility power or the batteries outside the aircraft. Operation with the battery system installed is an important breakthrough since it is the first time that the aircraft is capable of taxiing in flight. Prior to the motor spin test, the cruise motors and cruise motor controllers underwent random vibration testing. In this configuration, we're shaking the CMC or cruise motor controller in the Z-axis, that's up and down. Um, and that way we can see if anything's gonna come loose, if we're gonna have any problems with the unit whatsoever. Once again, just to know that this unit is safe for flight. In the coming weeks, the X-57 aircraft in the Mod 2 configuration will begin a series of test flights. Each flight will expand upon the other with data collected to understand aircraft operation and performance. The primary goal of the X-57 project is to share the aircraft's electric propulsion focused design and airworthiness process and technology with regulators and industry, which will advance certification approaches for distributed electric propulsion in emerging electric aircraft markets.